Thank you very much, Virginia. Now, the scandal that's beset Australia's greyhound racing industry has taken a dramatic new turn this morning. Hundreds of internal emails from Greyhound Racing New South Wales have been obtained by the ABC under freedom of information laws. Now, they suggest that management knew that some of its staff had in fact tipped off trainers about previous live baiting investigations. Reporter Cara Meldrum Hanna broke the story. She joins us now. Cara, good morning to you. Good morning. Quite explosive revelations here in these emails. Who features in them? Uh, a series of emails, look, a lot of management are discussing and strategising prior to Four, Cor Four Corners broadcasting earlier this year uh, the, the shocking vision of live baiting. Uh, what we have is management discussing how to minimise and, and manage the fallout after the program. And in one really damning exchange, we have the then CEO of Greyhound Racing New South Wales, Brent Hogan, discussing how he'd been spitballing options and one of them was to set up what appears to be a bogus task force. Uh, he discusses they'll, they'll appoint a big shot QC, they'll find a technical expert, he, he writes, F knows who that is, just some dog whisperer with a PhD. Uh, staffers also discuss how they knew, as you've mentioned, that participants had been tipped off in the past before police or the RSPCA had managed to get to their properties, giving them time to destroy valuable evidence. So we have the regulator, the police of the sport, aware that this had happened. Now, in the raids before the Four Corners broadcast, RSPCA went in alone. They didn't work collaboratively or, or jointly with Greyhound Racing New South Wales. And in this exchange, you have a staffer saying, after one staffer had vented against RSPCA, saying, we've been burnt, we can't trust the RSPCA, a staffer writes back, well, trust is a two-way street. The last time we had a joint operation, the intel was good. Problem was our participants were tipped off. So the idea that the regulator has been tipping off participants is, is astounding. And the, the R head of the RSPCA New South Wales says he is appalled and disgusted by, by these revelations. And also, Cara, some of these emails uh, give the lie to the proclamations of innocence by Greyhound Racing authorities at the time of your report that uh, they knew nothing of the mistreatment of dogs in training situations. Indeed, the emails revealed that Greyhound Racing New South Wales w was involved in investigations into at least five different separate incidences of, of live baiting in around the year uh, leading up to that Four Corners program. Also in there, we have st a, a, an internal report sent up to management after the Four Corners program. Allegations had been made by a trainer that was exposed in our program that a steward, a current steward inside the regulator and one of its integrity officers had attended a property, perhaps his, to engage in live baiting personally themselves. Now, if that's the case, we want to know what has happened with those allegations. The regulator says that, that they've come to naught, they've been able to find out nothing because that informant won't hand over any information. Uh, I don't know if that's good enough. Mm. Uh, we also have discussions too of uh, these staffers are wondering, you know, what exactly the vision was that Four Corners had. And in a really disturbing exchange, a couple of staffers are writing about, ooh, I wonder if they've got their hands on the drunk dog's vision. Now, what we understand that to mean is that the regulator has been of dogs that have been given alcohol and are racing drunk to, in order to slow them down and, and rig a race. Yeah, it's just truly amazing stuff, Caro. Finally, and, and very briefly, uh, you have uh, calls in your report today from senior figures in New South Wales politics. Uh, qu questions about the independence of this commission of inquiry the New South Wales government has set up. Yes, Greens MP John Kay uh, is questioning and rightly so, the integrity of this inquiry now. Uh, Greyhound Racing New South Wales chose for their, for their task force uh, Michael McHugh, a former High Court uh, Justice, a QC, to lead their task force. The government, New South Wales government, then appointed uh, Mr McHugh the head of this uh, independent special commission of inquiry. Now, the question isn't about Mr McHugh's integrity. The question here is about the process. And can this process now be trusted? considering what these emails reveal about the true conduct of the regulator and the cynicism here, the, the breathtaking levels of cynicism before and after our program broadcast. Okay, Caro, nice work. Thanks very much for joining us this morning. Thank you.